Hey everybody, hope you're all doing very well. I'm the Tomeister, and welcome to a brand new City Skyline series, The City of Argamel. This series will be played without using any custom assets and no mods apart from a few visual mods. This series will also be played as a Let's Play using only live play footage, so there won't be any fancy cinematics, no crazy prop placing or anything like that. This series is going to be a pure Let's Play as Paradox intended the game to be played. Now let's talk about the map. This map is a custom map. It was created by Mr. Miyagi on the workshop. Uh, Mr. Miyagi always creates really great maps and this one is certainly no exception. The reason why I chose this map uh, is for two main reasons. First reason is the overall look and feel of the map is very similar to the default maps that come with the game. And the second reason is I really like this highway layout, the way it's built. So we have this nice loop road going all around town and I really like this central highway going right through the middle, uh, right through what will eventually become downtown Argamel. So without further ado guys, let's jump right into the game and let's get started. Now what you can expect for this series guys is I want to do 15 to 25 minute max episodes and I, I'm probably going to release, I don't know, an episode or two per week depending on how busy I am. Uh, but yeah, I just can't wait to get this started. This is really exciting for me. To give you guys a little bit of a backstory, the reason why I chose to start a vanilla series was these past couple of months I've just been getting a really bad itch to play vanilla City Skylines. No mods, no nothing, and I don't know, I just felt like making a series out of it. So here we are in the city of Argamel. Now I will say I am using mostly visual mods for the mods that I do have. I think I have a dozen of them activated. Um, you will notice that I do have the Move It mod. Now the reason why I have this is just to create some nicer interchanges that you wouldn't be able to uh, just using the default game settings. Um, speaking of which, we have a really nice interchange right here downtown. I really like this interchange. I might play around with it a little bit once we unlock our highway uh, settings and, and whatever. Um, you know, just to get our uh, exits and off ramps and everything just a little tighter and make everything look a little more, I don't know. I don't want to say realistic, but just get everything a little bit more smooth and seamless. Um, so that's the main reason why I have Move It. Uh, I also have mods such as the Ultimate Eye Candy mod, so this just enables me to play around with some light settings and, you know, nothing game changing really. Uh, but I'll list the mods in the description down below and I'll also just uh, display them on your screen right now, just so you can see that, you know, it, it's nothing too extravagant, nothing too major. I didn't want to affect gameplay too much. I just didn't want to push the boundaries with this being a complete uh, vanilla gameplay. All right, so now that we have our zones placed down, let's place down a power plant right here. And I'll probably have to place down some power lines. And I'm going to place down some power lines all the way over here, which is where we are going to put our water drain pipe. Right over here. Oh yeah, which way is the current going? Oh, okay. Current's good. It's going outwards, which is exactly how I want it. Uh, should I go with a water pumping station or water tower? Oh, does the water tower give more water? 120,000 versus... But why is the water tower more expensive? That's kind of weird. Uh, let's go for the pumping station. I don't want to put it too close to the exhaust. So let's pipe it over here. Connect these two. And now let's make sure all of our citizens will have water. And also I should mention guys, don't expect any crazy amount of realism in this series. Like I said, I'm just playing the game as it was intended to be played, completely vanilla. Um, 
in terms of buildings, uh, so like I said, I have no custom assets. Uh, I'm just gonna use the default houses and everything. I will be zoning the entire city, so I won't be plopping down each asset individually like I do in Timbuktun and Chenovstok. Um, so I'm gonna let the city grow naturally. I'm gonna let every building uh, level up on its own. Uh, so there won't be any like custom plopping or anything like that. I don't have the find it mod. Um, so yeah, that's... So that'll also add a little bit of a challenge too, I think. But we'll be able to develop the city a lot quicker than we normally would be. Uh, we can just zone huge chunks at a time. So that'll be pretty fun. But am I ever excited to get started on this series, guys? I don't know. I'm just like super excited to, to play the game again in glorious 60 FPS. Well, not exactly 60 FPS. I'm getting like 30 some right now. Not great, not terrible. But I don't know, just like starting to play the game and its intended purpose. Oh, whoa, what's going on over here? Did we already reach the limit? Oh crap, okay, yeah, we don't have any power over here. We gotta get some power going. Uh, wind, I think we have sufficient wind to place down a windmill and provide some power to our intake pipes. There we are. Everybody's happy. We are almost broke though, but that is expected early game. It's always tough to get your feet off the ground in city skylines. Super early game. Even like mid game, like it's 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 tough. Eventually what my plan is, uh, so downtown, what I'm thinking is, is placing downtown in this section over here. Although once we get the city really growing, I'm assuming like this whole square here is probably gonna be downtown. Um, but what I'm thinking is this highway right here, eventually once we get into like some huge architectural projects or, or infrastructure projects or whatever the case may be, um, what I'd like to do is where this highway sort of dips into the ground here, I may destroy all of these intersections and place this highway underground perhaps, or maybe just have it sunken into the ground. Um, it would just create a little bit more room to build and it would just make the area look a little bit cleaner and nicer. Um, and what I'd also like to do eventually is connect this highway to this highway, maybe over here and create like this little loop thing near downtown. But I don't know, that's like a really long way away I'm not even sure why I'm thinking about that just right yet. But we will get there eventually. So let's get some more industries here. Oh, we're actually making money now. Look at that. That's great. So I'm assuming we should be getting an objective pretty soon. Are they called objectives? I'm not even sure. Oh, look at that. Little hamlet. So we have a little town going. And we got a cash bonus. That's good. Oh yeah, okay, great. So we have hospitals now. So let's plop down a medical clinic. And, oh, what's this? Community school. Well, that's new. I've never seen that in game before. An alternative to elementary school. Hmm, interesting. So let's place our elementary school right over here. Oh my God, how much was that? $10,000. Holy. I'm actually super excited too, guys. Like a lot of buildings I have never seen before since I've played the game Vanilla, which was years ago. But look, we, we have like new signs and everything. You guys are probably laughing right now, like all of you vanilla and console players. You know, you guys are used to this kind of stuff, but I haven't played Vanilla City Skylines in years. Uh, what about Death Care? Did we have that yet? Nope. I guess people can't die yet. Not allowed to die in Argamel just yet. I'm 
gonna expand this a little further. Maybe this main avenue as well. We may do some sort of connection to the highway eventually. I'm not sure. This is actually a pretty nice starting square though. I like this location right here. This whole part of the city. It's pretty central to the map as well. Now I believe I will only have nine squares to play with. Um, so I, I obviously don't have the 81 tiles mod, but uh, I may have to get the 25 tiles mod if that's even a thing. I remember it being a thing back in the day. Uh, I'll have to check if that's still available on the workshop. But if I want to expand the city the way I'm intending it uh, to expand, I may have to invest into getting that eventually. Can I do this? Oh, that's cool. But no, I don't want to do that. Um, let's do this. But yeah, this is like super early game still, guys. So a lot of these street layouts may change. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, 4,000 for landfill. We need a landfill. So I'll just have to wait until we have enough money for a landfill. But while we're waiting for that, let's maybe plop down a road here. And wait a couple more seconds for us to reach $4,000. So we are making money. That's a good sign. It's it's often hard to make money super early game. Um, but let's just hope we have enough money before all of these citizens start to get sick. That would not be good. So 3000 Man, I forgot how hard this game was. I'm not even playing on hard mode either. Oh, now we're really making money. Look at that. $1,000 per... Oh, it's weekly income. Okay. Oh, okay. Now we have enough for a landfill. Let's place that down. How many garbage trucks can be in use? 15. That should be enough to clean this area pretty quickly. So I think we're in pretty good shape now, guys. Things are going pretty nicely so far. Place this down here. Not of money. Oh. I gotta get used to that. I'm not used to checking my city's income at all. So that'll be a challenge. Oh, nice. Okay. See, this is on a hill too, which is pretty realistic, you know? That'll make for a nice downtown. Beautiful landscape we have to play around with lots of flat land so there shouldn't be any challenges to build anything we have some nice mountains in the background i don't think we'll ever expand the city uh that far out so i don't think we'll have to worry about that oh look over here we have some nice little rapids isn't that nice that's cool All right, so we're dying for some more residential. Let's place some more down over here. Maybe some more over here. All right, so we're looking pretty decent. Look at that. Oh, crap. All right, so we need some more water. Oh, worthy village. We're a worthy village. What do we have now? New features, district. We can enact some policies. We can borrow some money now. Emergency services. Wow, we're really starting to get in some interesting stuff here, even though it's still like super early game fire station so let's get one of these plopped down as quickly as possible because of course our industries are very uh, susceptible to fires and we'll go for a police station next 
You know, what kind of crime goes on in a city of less than a thousand people, eh? I don't think we need a police station right yet. Twelve thousand dollars, we have some much more important things to worry about, uh, for now. Here, let's just put the game on high speed, get this whole place to develop quickly. And yes, guys, I am going for the boring old grid pattern here. And like you've guessed it, we're obviously going for an American-themed city. I would picture this city in, like, the Midwestern U.S., but, I don't know, these mountains over here kind of changed that whole landscape. What do you guys think? In, in what region would you place this? Maybe even, like, way out west, like the Pacific Ocean would be here, and, and the city kind of looks like like Seattle or maybe Vancouver, you know, you have like a nice, um, you have like a nice delta or something and mountains in the background. I don't know. Let me know guys what you think. All right, so we're up to our $12,000 mark, but I think I'm going to give it a little more time before placing down a police station because you know we're not getting any crime notifications just yet I don't think it's gonna be much of a problem for a little time to come so we'll hold off on that if we do have an emergency or anything like that we'll have uh, some cash on hand oh look at that I spoke too soon yeah we got some crime going on in the far reaches of the city so I think it is time to place down a police station we have a couple of extra thousand dollars at this point anyways so this guy, let's place the police station along the main avenue here. Easy access throughout the whole city. I think what I'll do here is change up this grid pattern here. So these two streets will curve and they'll go directly north or whichever way that is. That'll look pretty neat. We got some railroad coming in here and oh actually over here as well so we'll have a nice train station somewhere around downtown we got some trams now and monorails all sorts of stuff that i haven't touched yet that have been out for like more than a year now i'm excited to get into all sorts of stuff like that And our city is in need of some more residential, which we're placing down right now. When do we unlock these two-lane roads with grass? Population of almost 5,000. Okay. I'm not sure why they wouldn't provide that from the start. I mean, they're like back streets. You would think that they'd be cheaper than these big main roads with parking lots. But I don't know. I didn't make the game. Some abandoned wharves over here. Oh my god, look at the mess we're making, guys. We'll have to clean that up. But it's not too bad, you know. We have, we place these exhaust pipes really close to, um, like, the inlet or the outlet of the river. So I don't think it'll be too much of a job to uh, clean all this up and upgrade to some cleaner alternatives. I think this should flush out pretty quickly, you know, the the stream or the the current is quite strong over here so I think it'll play out pretty good this would be a nice place for like a marina or something you know have some nice breakwaters over here and maybe have like some fishing industries once we have those unlocked plenty of potential in this map guys but yeah we're doing pretty good uh, we need some more industries just lay down a whole bunch of industries and then we won't have to worry about demand for a little while 
We're gonna need some more commercial here pretty soon, so we'll lay down a little bit going this way. Oh, oh we've expanded past our water system. We'll just place down a couple more pipes. There we are. One thing I'll have to get really used to as well is checking our uh, info views. Oh, I guess you have to unlock these. Or I suppose like if we don't have any maintenance buildings unlocked, then we wouldn't really need to check this anyway, but I'll just have to get used to checking all of these like pollution. Oh, tiny town, population of 1500. Oh, okay, yeah, and one thing too, I should mention, guys, that I do have extra landscaping tools. Um, this just enables me, like, if, if I want to build something in particular, um, the default tools that come with the game, first of all, they cost money, and they're not very effective at creating, like, large-scale mountains or whatever the case may be. So I figured it's not something that I would use really that often. I'll, I'll try to limit how much I use it, uh, but... I do have it just in case. Um, I do have the surface painter tool as well. So I said I wasn't really gonna focus on realism with this city, but I, I kinda want to add some aspect of realism. So if I do wanna create some sort of, maybe a parking lot at some point, um, I wanna be able to do that. And I didn't want any assets whatsoever, so I figured the next best thing would be the surface painter for placing down some asphalt. Um, but yeah. Oh great, okay, so we have some parks now. Let's maybe place down, how much is a park? 5,000, oh we have almost $30,000 in our bank. That's not too bad. Let's place down a nice park. Uh, yeah, I guess over here, in this nice neighborhood. So I think we'll place down some residential in this corner over here because our residential demand is quite high. And then I think we're going to wrap up this episode. Um, for these episodes, guys, I'm going to try to release them as often as I possibly can. I'm thinking like maybe one or two episodes per week um, for this series uh, among all of the other series that are on the go. So. Uh, it may make for a little bit of a busy schedule, but that's it's not too bad. These episodes are actually quite short and easy to create. Uh, with this being all live play, um, you know, like this episode is going to be about 25 minutes long. So it means I've used like it. It's taken 25 minutes of gameplay to create an episode rather than like four hours to create the typical Tim Buckton episode. Uh, so it shouldn't really be a problem to keep on schedule with these videos. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up right around now, guys. Um, so yeah, we have a decent portion of the city going on over here. Uh, so next episode, we're gonna be looking at expanding north and I'm gonna reserve this side of the highway for industries for now, probably like this entire section over here and we'll see how the city progresses. Um, Anyway, we'll, we'll have to buy some additional tiles and everything, as you guys know, eventually. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you're really excited about this series, as I am. And let's see you in the next episode. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, guys. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And also consider becoming a patron if you would like to support the channel. And with all that being said, guys, until the next episode, please take care.